At present, the official theory of astronomy states that our solar system has eight planets, excluding the demoted dwarf planet Pluto. These eight celestial bodies, namely Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, have been a staple in our understanding of our place in the cosmos for decades. However, recent calculations based on various models have revealed a startling fact. The number of planets in our solar system is actually lower than it should be. This realization has left scientists scratching their heads and pondering a fascinating question. Where did these lost planets go? Did they vanish into thin air or were they never there to begin with? Join us as we dive into this intriguing mystery and try to unravel the secrets of our mysterious solar system. The Mysterious Mathematical Formula This is a mysterious mathematical formula that has baffled astronomers and mathematicians alike for centuries. It can be expressed as a equals n plus 4 over 10, where n equals 0, 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, and so on. Pay close attention, because something strange happens when we plug in the numbers for n. For n is greater than or equal to 3, each subsequent number is exactly twice as large as the previous one. Plugging n into the formula yields a sequence of numbers 0 0.4, 0 0.7, 0 1.0, 1.6, 2.8, 5.2, 10.0, 19.6. This sequence of numbers was accidentally discovered in 1766 by German astronomer Johann Daniel Tedius. At first glance, it seems nothing special. But under the eyes of astronomy enthusiasts, it's different. Why? These numbers correspond to the astronomical units between individual planets and the Sun. The astronomical unit, abbreviated as AU, is defined as the distance from the Earth to the Sun, which is about 150 million kilometers. By applying the formula above, we can determine the distances of each planet from the Sun, in order from the closest to the furthest. We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and then wait for it, a lost planet. As we move further away from Mars, we encounter a gap where a planet should have been, according to the formula. Astronomers from the 18th century called this phantom planet, Planet Maldek. They speculated and searched for it, making it a crucial area of observation. However, after extensive research, they realized that it didn't exist as a planet. But what was there instead? Many asteroids. In fact, the Planet Maldek gap is now known as the Asteroid Belt. According to NASA, there are over a million asteroids whizzing around in this region of our solar system, with the current estimate at 1,113,527, and most of these asteroids have irregular shapes. That's a mind-boggling number, and if we were to add up the mass of all these asteroids, it would still be less than the mass of the Moon. What's even more fascinating is that these asteroids don't form a planet. It seems strange, doesn't it? Some have suggested that Jupiter's gravity is to blame, affecting the formation of a planet from these rocky fragments. But wait a minute, Mercury is much closer to the Sun than Jupiter, and yet it managed to form a complete planet despite its proximity to the gravitational pull of the star. The asteroid belt is six times farther from the Sun than Mercury, and Jupiter's mass is only a thousandth of the Sun's mass. So how is it possible? that Jupiter's gravity is affecting the formation of a planet from those fragments. According to German astronomer Heinrich Olber's explosion theory, the asteroids in the belt were not formed naturally, but are the remnants of a massive planet that exploded into smithereens. It's hard to imagine, but if Olber's theory is correct, the planet that exploded might have been as large as Earth. What we see today in the asteroid belt is only the debris from the explosion, most of which vaporized in a nuclear blast. Some pieces of debris were propelled out of their orbit by a tremendous force, while others drifted away and eventually collided with other planets. But what caused this planet to explode? Could it be that there was a great war among the spheres of the solar system and that planet Maldek also vanished as a result? Is it possible that planet Maldek once teemed with life? 
Scientists have revealed that some of the asteroids in the belt contain water molecules. One such asteroid, 2008 TC3, fell to Earth in October 2008, and scientists collected over 600 meteorite fragments, some of which contained water. If there is water on these asteroids, could it be possible that there was life on the planet that exploded to create the asteroid belt, including Maldek? Professor Michael Ovenden, an astronomer at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, has spent 25 years gathering evidence to prove that the asteroid belt was formed by a planet explosion, which was not a simple event. He believes that the asteroids and meteorites came from a large parent body, which must have had a diameter of at least several hundred miles to several thousand miles. These asteroids have a complex crystalline structure that can only be formed through millions of very slow cooling processes. Professor Ovenden also discovered that many meteorites were metamorphosed, indicating that they had been under the gravitational field of a large rotating planet. Most iron-bearing meteorites showed that they had been bombarded by cosmic rays dozens of times, likely from the thermal radiation of a planet explosion. This suggests that only a nuclear explosion can generate such high temperatures, forming many metal and crystalline spheres due to the melting of rocks. It also raises the possibility that intelligent beings may have caused the explosion of this planet. The Kuiper Belt Could it be the remnants of a shattered planet? It may sound like a sci-fi movie plot, but scientists believe that they have discovered something equally astonishing, not just one but multiple planets have vanished from our solar system. The evidence points towards the Kuiper Belt, a donut-shaped region beyond Neptune's orbit that is home to countless icy objects as being the remnants of a shattered planet. As it stands, we have four inner planets with solid cores and small masses, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, and four giant outer planets with massive volumes and a plethora of moons, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But what about Pluto? Being the farthest planet from the Sun, it is classified as a dwarf planet. Despite being larger than other asteroids in the asteroid belt, Pluto's volume and mass are very small. Its mass is only two thousandths that of Earth, and it's Pluto's location in the Kuiper belt, home to countless icy objects, including dwarf planets and asteroids, that has led some to question whether this region is similar to the asteroid belt and whether it could be the remnants of an exploded celestial body. Some people may wonder whether the Kuiper belt is similar to the asteroid belt and is perhaps the remnant of an exploded celestial body. Some scientists theorize that the Kuiper belt is the result of a colossal impact which shattered a planet into fragments, forming this ring of debris. The Third Lost Planet while minor asteroids and dwarf planets in the asteroid belt and Kuiper belt preserve traces of planets that once existed in those areas, some planets have vanished without a trace. But what if we told you that scientists have discovered evidence of a lost planet? A recent study published in the scientific journal Icarus reveals that during the early days of the solar system, a giant ice planet similar to Uranus and Neptune was forcefully ejected from its position by an unknown force. The planet's composition included hydrogen, helium, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, and sulfur, which, due to its distance from the Sun and temperature of negative 300 degrees, solidified to create a super-cool planet or a giant ice planet. The research team conducted 6,000 simulations and found evidence of a lost dwarf planet located between Earth and Neptune, with characteristics similar to Pluto and Haumea. They also discovered that Pluto and Haumea were not originally in their current orbits, but were influenced by the lost dwarf planet and the Kuiper belt. This finding explains a long-standing astronomical question, why Pluto's orientation differs from other planets. While other planets stand on the ecliptic plane, meaning their rotation axis is nearly perpendicular to the ecliptic plane, while Pluto's rotation axis is parallel to the ecliptic plane, meaning it lies in the orbit around the Sun. This indicates that it has collided with a planet several times the mass of the Earth in the past. The study's lead author, Matt Clement, said the arrangement of planets in our solar system is remarkably unusual. Scientists have wondered why this is the case. Could it be the influence of highly intelligent life? 
It's known that only nuclear explosions at an advanced level could break giant planets and change the position of planets. From the many changes in the states of planets in our solar system, one can see the participation and influence of intelligent life. Did the solar system have a great orbital battle? The vastness of the solar system remains largely unexplored by humans, with calculations suggesting the sun's gravitational field extends up to two light years or 125,000 astronomical units, AU. It's a distance far beyond our current ability to explore in detail, but what we do know is that the solar system we see now was not always like this. In fact, scientists believe that there were at least 11 planets and the volumes of Mars and Earth were different than they are now. However, some scholars have gone even further, postulating that an interplanetary war once took place within our solar system. These scholars propose that ancient civilizations on other planets had developed super nuclear weapons that were thousands of times more powerful than our current nuclear weapons. This resulted in an epic battle, leaving behind a trail of destruction. Mars lost its atmosphere, Venus had a catastrophic volcanic eruption, and the planet Muldek was completely destroyed, leaving behind only debris scattered throughout the Kuiper Belt. The belief is that some of the dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt could be remnants of the planet that was destroyed by these super nuclear weapons. This raises an important question. When a civilization focuses solely on material development without considering spiritual growth, are they doomed to destruction? This isn't just a question for other civilizations, it's a warning for us. The past of the solar system is a reminder of what can happen when a society ignores the importance of values like empathy, compassion, and unity. It's a call to action to prioritize spiritual growth alongside material development to avoid the same fate.